and we are going to discuss a case of a real life case of a 60 year old female right so this patient was admitted to the uh, endocrine ward for com with the complaint of ascending uti right so this is the uh, reason for patient had fever patient had uh, you know burning micturition and patient had so this is what we admitted the patient for right now the patient has history of diabetes since the last eight years she's on a glimepiride metformin and viltagliptin and she's also having hypertension since the last 10 years and she's on telmisartan now let's look at the patient's clinical uh, uh, scenario okay so the patient's weight is 89 kgs the uh, bmi is 35 the blood pressure is not controlled right the respiratory system everything is fine hb1c is 8.9 percent creat is 1.3 with i think egfr will be somewhere around 50s right and patient is having infection with a high crp and total count which is raised okay so this is the initial blood glucose which was uh, when the patient was on the first day of admission so before breakfast the sugar was 220 before lunch it was 250 before dinner 292 and after dinner it was 323 obviously not well controlled remember what is our target so this is a non critical ill patient so our target is the fasting blood sugar should be ideally less than 140 and post meal or pre meal sugar should be less than 140 and post meal sugar should be less than 180 but overall i think in a broader context i generally try to keep blood sugar between 100 to 200 this should be the broad target we should try and achieve in a clinical practice okay so this is what we did for the patient okay so i'll go back to this slide again and discuss with you what we uh, did for this patient in terms of the thing right so uh, first of all how much so this patient we would try to control this patient with use of p use of b b and c that is basal bolus and correctional dose of insulin Now, how do you con how do you calculate the dose of basal insulin? Okay, so I'll tell you a couple of approaches, and I'll tell you what approach I use. Right. So one way of calculating the basal insulin is by using the weight-based formula, where you can use 0.4 into the right. So you can use the formula of 0.4 into Okay, so you have 0.4 into body weight this will be the total dose of insulin and 50 percent of this you can use as a basal insulin right so let's take this patient right let's round from 0.4 to 0.5 uh, to make it simple so let's say this patient's weight is 90 kg so 0.5 is about 45 uh, units right total and half of this will be around uh, well 22 right yeah so around 22 units so this will be the dose of the basal insulin this is one way of calculating in this patient actually you'll get the both the values almost similar right the other way of calculating which i use in clinical practice is the fasting sugar minus divided by 10 right so fasting sugar is 220 divided by 10 is equal to 22 units right so this is the dose of the basal insulin right and the dose of the bolus insulin is calculated by the dose of basal insulin divided into three so you have 22 divided by 3 so this will be close to 7 units right so instead of using 7 you can use 8 i use 8 8 and 6 right so total dose of bolus insulin will be this total dose of basal insulin will be this right so what will be my prescription for this patient okay so this patient i will say i will give insulin treciba 22 units at 10 pm and insulin fiasp a i'm so sorry my hand keeps hitting this thing okay yeah so let's look at this oh, sorry okay so insulin treciba 22 units at 10 pm and insulin fiasp okay 
8 units before breakfast 8 units before lunch and 6 units before dinner so this is basal this is bolus okay now what i tell my uh, medical staff is to check sugar before meals and bedtime and to inform the sugar now based on the sugar they inform i give additional correctional dose of insulin right so let's see this case okay yeah so this is the first day so first day the patient's fasting sugar was 220 pre lunch 250 pre dinner 292 and post dinner was uh, 323 right so we use something uh, we we in fact develop a uh, lot of people who know me uh, also understand that you know i do a lot of uh, i do a little bit of coding and you know try to develop systems also so we develop this uh, insulin dose bolus dose uh, bolus and correctional dose calculator right this is based on the uh, endocrine society guidelines so here you have to enter the blood sugar value you have to enter the fixed dose the bolus dose so in this case we had fixed as 8 8 and 6 8 8 and 6 was the fixed dose 8 units before breakfast 8 units before lunch and 6 units before dinner and you can se select the degree of insulin resistance so you can select from usual insulin is insulin sensitive and insulin resistant so in this case let's use usual okay so we start with so let's see uh, how will you calculate right so in this patient uh, patient's fasting blood uh, the pre breakfast sugar is 220 okay so uh, it was uh, sorry okay let me show you so we saw that the patient's fasting sugar is 220 we had decided the bolus dose as 8 units right and you can see three options usual insulin sensitive and insulin resistant so this is usual so you click submit and it will suggest that patient requires 14 units of correctional insulin right again if you see my slide over here this is what we did right so it is 14 units right okay then pre lunch the sugar was 250 let's again put one more data into the system right so pre lunch sugar was 250 we had decided to give 8 units usual right and here it gives correctional dose of 16 units right so it says you need to give 16 so you can see here we are given 16 units right then pre dinner sugar okay so pre dinner sugar was 323 sorry 292 right so 292 we had decided to give fixed dose of 6 units so it suggests that you need to give 16 units so you can see here we are given 16 units right so this is what we did on day 1 okay we gave basal bolus and correctional and at night we gave basal unit of 22 units of placebo now next day morning the fasting sugar is 150 what was our target less than 140 so we increase the dose of basal uh, insulin from placebo 22 units to 24 units of placebo then again you can put it in the formula and you find that before breakfast we gave 12 before lunch we gave 12 and before dinner the sugar was now well controlled it is 120 so we gave just 6 units right which is just 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 the basal the bolus dose without the correctional dose next day 8 8 at slightly in the evening the sugar was slightly higher so we gave a correctional dose of 10 units and this is how we control so this is how you typically manage a patient who is in a hospital setup i hope this fact is clear okay now so on day 5 when we discharge the patient this was the overall outcome fasting was before breakfast was 120 before lunch was uh, 130 this was slightly higher and then after dinner was also less than 180 which is well under control so only this one reading was a little higher but otherwise it's fine right so patient was symptomatically better and we